That was close, McCord. Yeah. Where are we, anyhow? Well, I figured about five miles from the state line. Well, let's see. That puts us 60, 65 miles from base. We've got 47 minutes to do it in. Okay, here goes. kitchen sink. It's nice to know it's there when you need it, Buzz. Yeah, yeah. Sheriff, get a load of this car.
That's a real fancy looking machine you got there. Oh, will you take it on, please? You mind if I take a look under the hood? Sure. Everything and the kitchen sink. What did she do? 75 and 10. 75 and 10? That a fact? It's a fact. Hmm. Oh, uh, you know what the uh, speed limit is here? 35. Uh -huh. You know how fast you were going? 38. Fact, it's 40. your wheels. My wheels? you got oversized wheels. That throws your speedometer off some. <laughs> well, I heard a lot of stories in my day. It was the first time I heard of that. That's a fact. Uh-huh. Lock it up. We're going in. You serious? Uh-huh. Take a seat over there. You wouldn't listen, but then you never do. He warned us, Howard. Who warned us? The counterman. What counterman? The counterman at the coffee shop where we stopped for coffee. He warned us. He said that there is this town which is a well-known speed trap. He said you will know it because it is called Clarksburg. And, Howard, we are now in the Clarksburg jail. All right, let's get this over with. Tell the judge we're ready, huh? Would you all like to step into the courtroom, please? I'll do the talking, Edith. Maxwell Howard F. Sixty-five in a thirty-five zone. How do you plead, guilty or not? Your Honor, I plead no low contenders. That's the same as guilty. That'll be one hundred dollars or ten days in county jail. One hundred dollars? Now, wait a minute. I didn't say guilty. I want a trial. A real trial. That's within your rights, Mr. Howard. I want to talk to my attorney. You're free to call him. Rhodes, Harley T. Now, you understand, Harley, that I'm going to have to find you. Have you got $25? We only got $12. All right, Harley, but just this once. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Thank you. Pay the bailiff. You're dismissed. McCord Michael D. Well, now, huh? Guilty, Your Honor. $50. Thank you. Well, what did he say, Mr. Maxwell? He said to pay the hundred dollars.
Could you tell me, sir, how I get back to my car? Right out front, you'll find Johnny. He'll drive you back. Uh, you'll please note that my cab does not have a meter. This is not a metered cab. It works by zones. Are there any questions so far? Just tell us how much so we can get out of here. Now, well, where are you parked, sir? Oh, I don't know. Out on the highway somewhere. Oh, well, now that takes us to what I call Zone B, and Zone B is one dollar extra. Fine. Now let's go. Uh, if you was in Zone A, it would be one dollar to start the car and one dollar for Zone A. But as you're in Zone B, it'll be one dollar to start, one dollar for Zone A, and one more dollar for Zone B. Uh, that and your customary tip will bring it to uh, uh, three fifty each. Come on out of there, Luke. Uh, except for those of you who qualify for the special hardship rate, which is $4 for the entire family, and that's a bargain. I ain't got $4. I'll take care of them. Let's go. Okay, we're off. Thank you for helping us. My pleasure. There it is. There. I tell you, I can't get out of this lousy town fast enough. Lousy speed trap town! Oh, you'll be quiet! Harley, you're lucky. Thank you. Hey, I'll be all right up front with you. I guess I won't be seeing you again. I wanted to say it was real nice talking to you. How much are you? Uh, seven fifty. Thank you. Uh, state line is uh, three miles that way. I know. Have a beer, will you, Maggie? I'll be right with you, Trey. You playing that song again? Staying well, over in Carter. They got the whole department on a regular salary. Oh, we're doing fine just the way it is. Well, some weeks are good. Some ain't so good. I was just thinking that if. If we was on the salary, then we could count on it being regular. And the taxes would go up. People wouldn't like that. And the people vote. Having the lawbreakers pay on the tab and not the taxpayers is a better way of doing it as far as I'm concerned. Keeping it regular is up to the department. And maybe we ought to have Johnny up his cap rate so <laughs>
That investigator from the state attorney general's office was in to see me again. Well, what did he want? Oh, he asked a lot of questions about the accident. What did you tell him? Nothing to tell. out there last night, Roy? Why? Just thought I was in church.
Hi. Hi. Is everything okay? Yeah, fine. Boy, that's some car you got there. Hey. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you something, mister? Sure. What are you trying to do? Just give it a little workout. Mm. A lot of people have been killed on this curve. So I hear. Uh, I'm Lyle Stafford. I live around here. I'm Mike McCord. I'm new around here. I'll see you later. Spell misdemeanor with one S or two. Why don't you look it up in the dictionary over there under M? One S or two. Want me to help you find something? Yeah, I'm looking for that last accident report. You know, the one with the two fatalities. Yeah, I got that right here. But I haven't filed it yet. I mean, I got enough work to keep me busy for a month to Sunday. Second class, Don Alar. McCord. Isn't that the same name of the guy with the fancy car? That's right. Well, that's funny, him being here. I wonder what he wants. You, uh, teach your brother something about cars. I know plenty. I got my learners, don't I? No, he ain't got no car to go with it. Look, I'll take it from someone who knows. You can't make out unless you got a car. Right? Hey, you gotta see this car. Windows. You work here? Yeah, it's my big brother. Phew, that one is something. Looks ain't nothing. All show and no go. Yeah, a lot you know. Oh, it took five gallons. Yeah, I know. Want me to check up front here? No, it's fine. How much are you? Look, Pam. Thank you. Thank you. Bob? 
Go on, hop in. You mean it? Sure, come on. Wow, she's tough. <laughs> you want to take it for a spin? Sure. Go ahead. Hey, 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 mister, he's only got his learners. I got my regular. Me too. Yeah, so do I. Lyle, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take somebody with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to handle a stick ship, don't you? Yeah. Make sure the emergency brakes off. Have fun. <laughs> A fellow died in that car right there. Two fellas died in that car. Yeah, you're right. Two of them did die in that one. It's too bad about those push marks. Yeah, it sure is. I'd like to save that bumper there. It's about the only thing left in the whole car. Radio wasn't no good. Batteries busted. But you know, you go out in those things, you hope you get a good one, but... Yeah. Well, to me, it looks like you're doing all right for yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're doing pretty good. Before we got that county contract, all we was doing was pumping some gas and selling a tire now and then. But it's a lot better now. Shoot, Sheriff Roy sucked that right up his exhaust pipe. Not a chance. Not a car around here could take the California kid. Not even Sheriff Roy's. Sheriff Roy's got full racing engine with dual carburetors and everything. Installed it himself. Yeah, I know that. But he still wouldn't have a prayer against the California kid. I'm with you, La. How'd it go, La? Hey, mister. What are you doing over there? Just looking at the wrecks. And they're trying not to break any laws. They already have. That's kind of property. Oh, Roy, it was, uh, it was like he said. He was just looking over there. Let's see now. Your uh, contract comes up with the county you now. Three months, right? Unauthorized persons. I'm not allowed in there. You understand? Yes, sir. I sure do. That's good. 
I always like it better when people understand what I'm telling them. From now on, you keep them gates closed, yeah? Boss, can I borrow a couple of wrenches? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Yeah, thank you. You need a hand? Yeah, okay. I just want to stiffen up the front end a bit. You getting too much sway on the curves. Grab a hold. Boy, did you ever see anything like that? Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that thing for? I don't know. Uh, it's a new type magneto. They're great. Okey-doke. I'll have two over easy, please. 
I like them that way, too. Want the potatoes? Um, uh, no, cottage cheese. Okay. Black coffee, too. Coffee. You, uh, work all the time? Well, it sure seems like it. But I'll be off about the time you finish your eggs. Mr. Barry, your daddy know that you're out here in the middle of the night, sitting in the back of his car? Huh? I asked you a question. Well, we weren't doing nothing, Sheriff Roy. I swear we... All right, you two, come on out. You aware of the fact that Sissy Barry's on the rage, huh? Yes, sir. Contributing to delinquency of a minor happens to be one of our more serious offenses. Well? Well, Sheriff Roy, I... I... Give me a driver's license. Watch you kids grow up. You know, I don't hold for this kind of thing. I'll let you off easy this one time. You hear me, Tom? You come to me a week from Friday. You can have this back. Until then, your driving privileges are suspended. Yes, sir. This is very hard to put you over my knee and give you a whipping. I'll let your daddy handle that next time I catch you in the back of a car like this, because I'm going to haul you straight in the juvenile court and he'll hear about it. Understand? Yes, sir. Fix your face up. Now, Tom, you take her home. Before I look under the front seat of your car and find where you hid that beer. Yes, sir. Change my mind. I mean it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, Don't speed. Go on now. Sure. Just taking five, Roy. Mm -hmm. You seen him? Who? The one that owns that car out there, that's who. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Jerry. Hmm? You seen anybody get in that fancy looking machine out there? Uh, don't know who that would be. I got here late, so maybe he was here earlier. Oh, I guess get to hit them. I'll see you later on.
so we were sitting talking one day. Well, I guess I was doing most of the talking. My husband just gets up and walks out the door. I can't say he didn't warn me. Frank used to say I was always prying into him. Asking him where he was going. When he was coming back. What he was doing. Did you ever find out what he was doing? <laughs> I sure did. He was going off in the morning with an empty lunch bucket and coming home at night with it full of money. Found a money tree. I get a card from him every now and then. Usually on my birthday. It always says the same thing. Maggie, I love you. And I'm sure to look you up when I get out. Just listen to some music. Thank you. You got a nice place here, Maggie. Thanks. You comfortable here? Mm-hmm. You're different. So are you. Country girls are different than city girls. No, I didn't mean that. Well, I know one thing. What's that? You being here has got something to do with Sheriff Roy Childress. Thanks, so. Owen. Yesterday, after you left the diner, he looked real worried. I haven't seen him look like that in a long time. Not since the accident. Which accident? Oh, I don't know. It was about five years ago, I guess. His wife, Kathy, and their little boy. What happened? Both killed. On Main Street, right in the middle of the afternoon. Hit and run driver. Roy took it real hard. He swore he'd find the one who did it. We never did. I get my regular. Oh. If we had one now, we could go for a ride. I know a place. No, I can't, Sissy. Not until I Never get... Never mind. Me and Tom used to go out when he had his learners. But if you're scared or something... Maybe I can get in the morning. Just for a little while. We can go swimming down by the river. Oh, wow. That'd be so nice. Okay. Okay, you meet me behind the school at 10 o'clock. So you're still here, huh? Yeah, I'm still here. You enjoying your stay? 
Yeah. I want you to know I know who you are, and what you're doing here. Anything else? Make my rounds. I thought I'd stop in and talk to you for a minute. Uh, uh, you like it here, don't you, Maggie? I mean, living here in Clarksburg. You know I do, Roy. Yeah, it's a nice place. I mean, uh, I've been here my whole life. It's not like other towns, you know. It just doesn't change much. What are you trying to say, Sheriff? I don't want to see you with him again. We don't hold for no outsiders coming in here and stirring up trouble. Now, we like you here, Maggie. So I hope you hear what I'm saying. Maybe we could. Uh, just for a little while. Let's go faster. Will you give us more time?
You, Buzzards. Yeah, speaking. I'll be right there. Hey, uh, it has been an accident with Lyle, huh? I'm going on out there right now. Wait up! Shape, Roy. But she's gonna live, but she's in bad shape. You should have pulled over. I think we'd been all right if you just would have pulled over. He must have been going about a hundred miles an hour. Stop. Lost in the curve. Oh, was you chasing him, huh, Roy? Yes, it was. <sighs> oh, Roy, that's my brother. This is Lyle! <gasps> oh, oh, God! <laughs> oh. It's taking it pretty rough in there. I'm sorry. I'm really very sorry. I just came by to see if there's anything I could do. Thanks. You know, uh... You know, I never uh, thought of them uh, as people. Uh, I just never thought they uh, ever belonged to anybody. Uh, it was just Rex I went and picked up for a fee, that's all. Well, I figured one of them belonged to you. Yeah, it was my kid brother, Don. He was 19. Ah. Uh, you know them, uh, them uh, marks on the bummer? Push marks. Yeah, right. Well, uh, you know, Roy, uh, Roy murdered Lyle. I believe he did, yeah. And I'm gonna kill Roy. No, there's another way. Roy? Deputy Pew, Roy!
boy. Roy. What do you want? Well, the judge was worried about you because you weren't in court this morning. He called up here a couple of times to see if you were all right. I'm fine. Just fine. Good. Good. I just, I just thought I'd check to make sure you weren't sick or something. But I can see that you're fine. Yeah. I guess I'll head on back then. You seen him today? Who's that, Roy? You know what I'm talking about. California, the one with the car. <laughs> He's been hanging around town all day, driving up and down the street. Hmm. I'll be going out there. He's waiting on me. I guess you're leaving, huh? Yeah, pretty soon. When Frank got into all that trouble, when they come and took him away, I just felt that I wanted to get away and start in again. So I sold everything we owned, and I went out and I bought me that trailer. Right away, I started to feel better. In fact, I felt real good. Because I knew I could go anywhere I wanted to. Only I never did do it, Michael. Once I thought I would. But when it got right down to it, I, I was scared. So I never did leave. And now I know that I never will. I just wanted you to know that I know how it is. And it's all right. Because the time that we did have together was real good. Is that it? 
That's it. I want you out of this town today, McCord. I'll be heading north in a few minutes here. Maybe you will.
anything good in that thing? The very best. 